Number 32. What are the allowed values for each of the four quantum numbers, which are N, L, M, L, and M, S? Okay, so I'm just going to go over how to find out the actual values for these quantum numbers. In the next question, I talk about what they actually mean. So this time we're just going to focus on how to get the actual numbers. So let's start with the biggest and go to the smallest. So the biggest is the principal quantum number. You should always start with the N and work your way down to the MS. So it's actually written like this from biggest, you know, to the smallest. So it's kind of like talking about, um, it basically talks about what country you live in as opposed to what town you live in. You first find out what the country you live in, then maybe the state, and then the county, and then the town, et cetera, you know, et cetera. You work from biggest to smallest. So N represents the principal quantum number, which is the shells around the nucleus. So technically an N has to start with one and technically, it can go all the way to infinity. The only thing here is just remember that n cannot start with zero. n always starts with one, the first shell around the nucleus. So all possible numbers for n is one to technically infinity. So one, 200, 500, 1,020, et cetera. Potentially, they can all be um, units, numbers for the n value. Second is the L, and the L is either called angular momentum or it can be called the secondary quantum number or the azimuthal quantum number, but this follows suit with what your N number is. So that's why you have to figure out what your N number is because then you can find out your L values. And the L value is anything from zero up until N minus one. So. Let's give an example. I'll put it over here. Let's just say that the N was three. Let's figure out what the L value could possibly be for a N equals three principal quantum number. Well, it could be zero all the way up until N minus one. So technically it would be three minus one. So it'd be zero up until two. So what are all your potential L values? For this case, it would be zero, one, and two. But this is the formula that you should memorize in order to find out the possible values for your angular momentum or secondary quantum number or azimuthal quantum number. Now we do a more piggyback, right? So now we're going to find the ML. And the ML piggybacks off of what you found out for your L value. So this one tells us that an ML value can range from negative L all the way to positive L, but you need to know the L value first. And for as many L values that you have, you will be figuring out the ML for each one of them. So in the example that we have done, I have three L values, zero, one, and two. So technically I would have three different ML values as well. So for this one, the ML for zero, would be technically negative zero all the way to positive zero, but that doesn't really make sense. So in this case, the ML would just be zero. For the second one, it would be ML of negative one all the way to positive one. So that would be negative one, zero, and one. So there would be three ML ver values for your L equals one. And then the, for the L equals two, for L equals two, the ML would be negative two all the way to positive two. So negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two. So you would have five different values for your MLs for that specific L value. And last but not least, you have the MS or the spin quantum number. The spin quantum number talks specifically about how the electron is spinning. So it could either spin in a positive direction or a negative direction. Positive is represented by a plus one half, or it could be spinning in the negative direction, minus one half. It would never be any other number than this for a specific electron. Okay? So, for these, for if you wanted to talk about a specific 
ms off of an ml, if we wanted to talk about the negative 2, the ms, you would either say negative a half or positive one half. It's just easy as that. But guys, memorize this progression. We're going to be basing this off of a lot of stuff coming up, all right? But I'll probably go over it in a little bit of detail once we get there, just so that you guys know exactly what we're doing, all right? So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Um, thanks for the support. I hope we're helping you. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next question. Take care.